another gameplay. <clears throat> Let's get this going. To episode two of the Outer Worlds. Even our last episode, I said I'm gonna have to wait for that one. But let's go. I'll have to come back. Okay. There we go. Okay. Here we go. Okay. Yeah, I'm about to get back in. Okay. I hope the tags do help me get viewers. For Twitch, because... Hey, you hear about Wilson? Uh, I'll fix that. I'm going there. Okay. Here we go. Welcome. Welcome to this stream. But also, episode 2 of the Outer Worlds. The Grease Monkey Argo? I'm sorry, Mr. Thompson, sir. You asked why it's taking so long to fix. The answer's technical. Don't apologize. Okay. Try using small words for me. The cans bust open in the oven because she's set to cook saltuna, which isn't what we've got. Mr. Thompson, I think there's someone here to see you. Focus, Miss Holcomb. You and I are still talking. Let's start over. Walk me through the process. <laughs> Show me where it's going awry. Well, sure. It's uh, mostly on account of what we're feeding into the mechanism. It puts food in cans. We have food, we have cans. Why won't it work like we need? She's expecting Seltuna of a certain size. We're filling the cans with... Well, not... Fish. Seems we've got a guess. Here we go. Really now, Parvati, I do wish you'd spoken up. I do apologize. I was given no forewarning of your arrival, or I might have welcomed <laughs> you at the gates myself. Okay. Are you read? Read whatever? I was told I should talk to you. I'm Reed Thompson. Outpost Administrator. I cannot help but notice you are not in uniform. I think you may have the wrong idea about me. Yes, so it dawns on me. Seems I allowed my excitement to run away with my wits. Been a few seasons since we've had a visitor pass through. Welcome to the stream. My ship needs repair, needs repairs. I'm looking for a power regulator. Only regulator we got is hooked up to the town transformer. Mr. Tobson ain't liable to be keen on dismantling it. I beg your pardon. I am most emphatically not keen on any such thing. I can't let you have our power regulator. But I happen to know of another one. And I happen okay. to know exactly how you may retrieve it without frying yourself in the process. Let's hear it. There's a power regulator in the old botanical lab. It's mostly abandoned, so all that power is being squandered. Go down to the geothermal plant. Okay. Reroute power from the botanical district over to us. Once their power mm -hmm. shut down, you can have their regulator and be along on your way. Okay, sounds like fun. When you say mostly abandoned, what do you mean? I was not entirely sure how to tell you this. The botanical labs are not legally inhabited, but there are people who live there. Tell me what I need to do. The people living in the botanical labs. They're deserters, former workers. I need them back at their posts. I need them to come home. Okay. My hope is that by cutting off their power, you will convince those deserters to come back to town. Before you go to the plant, I want you to stop by the botanical lab. Speak to their leader, Adelaide. Okay. Tell her the power's about to go. And that it's time her band of deserters came back to town. Alright, Red Reed. 
I'll see what I can do to help. My dad told me all about the plant. Taught me all he knew. I could come in useful. Okay. I mean, okay. if that's all right with you, Mr. Thompson. Sir. I hesitate to part ways with Miss Holcomb, <laughs> but I cannot deny that she is talented and may prove useful to you. Mm -hmm. You will need an administrative passcode in order to enter the plant. Okay. I am trusting you with mine and trusting Miss Holcomb to guide you if you'd like. Yeah. Sure, I could use a company. Great! I got my wrenches and mm. diagnosticators and hairpins and engine tape, so I'm all set. Well, I am glad to hear that. Best of luck to you, and thank you again mm -hmm. for your help. It is a lot to ask of a stranger, I know. Mm -hmm. Yes, it is. Let's get going. C and P manager. Seminister. Companions. Companions. You've gained a companion. They are characters that join you in your adventures and help in a variety of ways. Companions provide combat combat support. Plus their skills enhance enhance their skills. They increase your carrying capacity. You can unlock special companions, combat abilities, and uh, with the inspiration skill. Learn more about it, your companions in the companion ledger. Okay. Yep, be right over. Got it. Good. Let's go. Okay. Okay. Let's... Hey, mister, can we talk? Sorry. Uh, you got a minute? Okay. Sorry. Yeah. I... You just want to get okay. out of here. And you likely don't want to tag along like me. It's just... Mr. Thompson has his own view on matters. On account of it's his job and, and what all, but... That's not the only side of the tale. Mm-hmm. This is about the deserters. So what's the other side of it? To Mr. Thompson, a person's a gear. It does its job quiet-like. If it squeaks or stutters, it gets replaced. The deserters are decent folk. I knew some of them before they left. Okay. I can't blame anybody for wanting to leave. She leave. This town's got issues. Life's hard here. Especially for them that don't fit in so well. We're one big Spacer's Choice family, but every family's got the one the rest whisper about. Okay. Mr. Thompson's mm -hmm. aiming to take away their power. They'll have no lights to see, nor heat to cook. They'll okay. be at the mercy of marauders, or worse. I think you should talk to the town's vicar about it. Max, his name is. Okay. I suppose it could've hurt. We'll stop by. Thanks, mister. I just think when you gotta make a decision that'll hurt somebody, it's best to think on the right and wrong of it. That's what mm -hmm. my dad used to say anyways. Yeah. Okay, let's go. Okay. Oh, yeah, there we go. Okay, here we go. Okay. Oh, wait, that's on the other side. Isn't it? I think. We're not. Okay. I've always felt weird in here. It's too clean. Okay. Yes. What is it? You're an really? outsider. Fantastic. Vicar Maximilian De Soto at your service, or Vicar Max if you're the sort who prefers brevity, and Ms. Holcomb as well. How rare to see you out. And with a complete stranger. Curious. Just tagging along, Vicar de Soto. Don't mind me. I so rarely get new people to talk to. Name your poison. Anything at all. Spiritual counseling. This season's tossball predictions. The quickest way out of town. Okay. Um. Parvati. Or how do you say it? Parvati. Wanted to, wanted to talk to you. About what Reed asked 
us to do. But what? I thought you would talk to him. You wanted to speak to me, Ms. Holcomb? Every time I've tried to engage you in conversation, you look at the floor, answer in single words, and slink away. I can't imagine what would be so grave as to drive her to my mission. What has Mr. Thompson asked you to do? Fix the geothermal plant. Or cut off the power to Adelaide's deserters. If you could answer quickly. I can see why that troubles you. Miss Holcomb has a soft heart. Always has, if you believe the talk. So what do you advise? Assuming your goal is to save as many as possible, then you should bring everyone together. Send the power to Edgewater and convince the deserters to return to the fold. Okay. Is that even possible? Not if things are left to stand as they are. If you don't mind a bit of unsolicited advice, be cautious on your okay. way to the geothermal plant. It is not as safe as you might assume. Mm -hmm. And why is that? One of the reasons I transferred here was to fulfill my duty in hunting down banned heretical texts. I happen to know such a book is, as we speak, tainting a collector's library in Emerald Vale. However, the collector's residence lies outside the town's walls. My retrieval efforts have been thwarted by marauders who have overrun the property. Okay. Should you fare better than me, I'd pay a handsome sum for the book. Okay. Handsome sum, you say? Tell me more. It's a handwritten journal. A faded blue cover with the name M. Bakonu handwritten in the lower corner. Okay. I'll mark where I saw it on your map. Assuming you're serious? I look for your book. Thank you. If you retrieve it, you can always find me here. Okay, let's go. I love reading dialogue. Wait. Okay, we got rank ups. Okay, let's see. Or whatever you call it. We'll do bam, 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 bam. And then we'll do... And then we'll put the rest on it here. There we go. Or wait, no. We're gonna... Revert some. Some ranged weapons. Shoot. Or no. And then one on ranged weapons and bam. We go to the journal. Divert power, deliver read message. Okay, well, time to go. Okay, here we go. Time to go, yo. Okay, here we go. Okay. Oh no, it actually started going down the power bank. Oh, wait, wait, how do I get out of this area? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much, and thank you for that. Thank you for all that stuff. Thank you for all that stuff, too, and... Like how they're not getting mad at me for looting the area. That was quick. Okay. Yeah, duh. What do you mean that was quick? I'll go loot the rest of the area after. Wait. 
Oh dear, there's lava, it looks like. Is that a volcano? Should I look up? It looks like it. Okay, yep. Okay. Here we go. Come on, we're just gonna ignore those. Wait, can I give you Where ammo? Are we or guns? Perception. I noticed you mentioned your dad a lot, but never your mother. That's on account of how I never met her. You mean she's dead? I don't rightly know. She was in another division of the Spacer's Choice family. She worked in the Vale a few months, sorting the cannery computers. Her contract said any kids she had, okay. expected or not, belonged to her office from the time of conception. So when I was born, I got sent here. Oh, is that normal? Well, I don't know about normal. Dad said she worked under some kind of special contract. It's sensible. Dad just fixed machines. She did some kind of crazy math, high-level stuff. Better to raise me on his time than hers. You mentioned something earlier that I wanted to ask you about. You mean about the mission being too clean? Isn't it possible to be clean? It's a church. Or isn't it supposed to be clean? It's a church. I know, but Vicar says the universe is a machine, that it runs by law. Real machines have gunked up oil, scratches, and worn bits. You can tell they've seen handling, been used by folk. The machine Vicar sees is one ain't never been run. It, it's not for people to live in. It's something on a museum shelf under glass. Oh. You're a mechanic. Whenever you see a machine, it's in need of fixing. Fixing the universe is a job for somebody way better than the likes of me. Let's get back to it. Okay. Here we go. Time to get to this damn place. Okay, here we go. Wait, couldn't have been. Never mind, I couldn't have gotten to another door. Okay, I need to save it because I've not saved in so long. Sometimes I need to do a hard save. Okay, give me that. Give me that. Nothing underneath there. I'll come back through here and loot everything later. Any buildings open? Good, this place is open. Oh, I already looted this place a little. Okay, I get that now. This is a place where I killed a lot of them, and I just kept on dying. Okay. Oh. I think that was another Marauder I killed earlier. Okay, um... Yeah. Any good other... Okay, let's go. Botanical labs. Ooh, loot. Stranger, you don't want any trouble. But I'm here to tell you your thing, your place needs fixed. Okay. Okay. I don't know you. Whatever you're looking for, it ain't here. Move along. Really. What's your problem? Armed strangers wandering into my camp for one. Some of my camp wandering out for another. <laughs> you obviously run a tight ship. You want to try standing outside in the heat, keeping your sights open for the next Marauder raid? No, I'm sorry. That was unworthy of me. Lady named Zoe went missing okay. some nights ago. Just up and vanished without a trace. 
Now I'm pacing around wondering if Marauders got to her. Really? <laughs> I'll keep an eye out. It's not like Zoe to go wandering. Figured she might be out scavenging, but that ain't exactly her talent. Can't imagine where <laughs> she's gone. Vale's a wide place. She could be anywhere. Okay. Unless Marauders got to her. Then part of her could be in... Parts of her could be... In a lot of places. Could do without the gallows humor. <laughs> Where can I find out out Adelaide? Over in the hothouse, tending crop. I got some questions I'll about tell you what I can. Any idea where she might be hiding? Vex me. If she told anybody, they ain't telling me. I'd check her room, but I got yelled at for snooping once already. You snoop around in a room? A little ways ago. She was always obsessing over her serial dramas. Wanted to see what the fuss was about. Maybe the marauders took her away. Could be. Dangers are plenty out there. No telling why marauders would steal somebody like Zoe. Got no useful skills, far as I could tell. Okay. Any chance you could point me somewhere specific? And not just out of, out here. Marauder gang just moved into there. the districts a little ways east. Their numbers are growing. Gotta come from somewhere. Okay. How well do you know? Well, her? enough to know we never got on. Zoe and Stefan were close. Okay. If anybody knows the workings of her mind, he does. Let's change the what subject. Is it? That's all. Okay, now to go. Really? Okay. Dang it, it's red. I can't steal it. Not until they're out of here. Then I could take whatever I want. Really? I deserve it? Okay. Here we go. Okay, I need that. If you're hungry, there's meat turning on the spit outside. If you're bearing illness, find a place to lay your head down and I'll fetch you a poultice. Whatever your troubles with Edgewater, leave them at the gates and be welcomed here. Any questions, dear? You must be Adley. I have been called that, among other things. Green Thumb, Grandmother, the strange old lady who keeps flowers. But yes. Adelaide will do just fine. Excuse me, Miss McDevitt? Sorry, it's just... You got such pretty trees in here. Why, thank you. You're Robert, girl, aren't you? I remember when you were but a sprout. Thomas speaks of you often. Are you staying long? You should try some of my tobaccorn tea. I brew it in an old spittoon, but it's been cleaned. Okay, uh, Reed sent me to make, make peace with you. Reed Thompson? You here on behalf of that cold-eyed reptile? Let's hear it. What's Reed's idea of peace, then? You're living off power that belongs to the town. Come back to the cannery. Something about coming back to town. I lose power. I was really, was it really losing? What? And I was. Really. Living off power that belongs to that. He asks. He's willing to make amends. Make amends? Spare me. Only thing Reed knows how to make is a mess. Like everything else that comes out of Edgewater, that peace offering is canned. I and my own are living just fine out here by ourselves. Reed asked me to divert power. This is serious. I'm about to cut. What? I can't lie.
He would do such a thing. The question is, why would you agree to his plans? Camp has a power regulator. I need it to repair my ship. Cannery's got a regulator. You want ship parts, you ought to rip them out of the cannery's guts and leave us be. If you're going down to the plant, you should divert power away from Edgewater and toward our end of the grid. Think about it. You'd be liberating an entire town from a lifetime of service to that odious cannery. Seems the sort of thing a hero would do. I'll consider it. I trust you will listen to your conscience. Mm hmm. Making probably the most evil ones. Okay, well, great. Uh, I have to go. Oh, wait, you could talk to the chicken. <laughs> That's funny. You can talk to the chicken. Okay. Totally not weird at all. Being able to talk to a chicken. Okay, well, dang it. Oh, come on, where in the heck is the exit? Great, marauders again. Uh, super annoying. <laughs> yeah, well, looks like I'm going to fight some marauders. <laughs> Wish me luck. Never mind. I thought I was going to the Marauder, the Marauder place, where the medicine is, but apparently I'm not. And damn it, I'm not going to use that geothermal power plant discovered. Plus 600 XP. I've always wanted to poke around in here. Okay. Oh my gosh, I was about to die. And to Lord, I didn't. It'll help me later on. Something you need? Uh, let's see. Um, nah, apparently not. Okay. I'm going. Okay. EMP. I like. I might have just found something that's way better. Okay, let's go. Okay, spacer's choice.
Okay, let's see. Um Dang the robots. Went against them? Oh dang. Okay. And I will die if I run into that thing. Okay. Armored ballistics will keep your skin intact. Armor, uh, armor e management to wear an armor or helmet item. Navigate to the item and then select it. You can then also manage your armor here. Break them down, inspect them, compare to other armor, tag them as junk, or drop them. How do I compare? So that has three, five, nine. Wait, what if I equip this? Trick, I'll do that one. Okay, here we go. Before we do that, and then I'm gonna repair my weapon before I do anything. All right, we're gonna break that down. Okay, that one will do better. There we go. Okay. Now to go back in. Now to go in. Okay. And then I have to switch. Do a switcheroo. Shh. The control room should be off to the right. Okay. Business Choice Automated Sales Unit. Vending Machine. The vending machines offer a variety of items to purchase, mostly from one company. A hack skill of 20 or higher allows you to sell items to the vending machine. Restricted items on a vendor can only be purchased when you have a high enough reputation with an with associated faction or a hack skill of 40 or higher. I only have 274. You have insignificant amount. You're not the best choice. Okay, here we go. Maybe I can sneak past. <laughs> Access file one. Okay, here we go. Emerald Vow Geothermal Plant. A space is choice. I had to borrow your copy of the Young Spaces Guide to Mechanical Engineer Ring. Radio's been sputtering and need the, the reference. I've returned the copy to the repair bay. I'm not about to read that second, that two part again. Chose everywhere, mechanicals gone haywire. 
gunfire, hearing some screams. Oh, Lord, I think that was someone's leg. Would you, would you, will, would like to leave early for the day? Please, deduct, deduct, deliquence, see, fee for my pay. Thank you, proud to be a, be a member of Space's Choice family. Now we go up. If we can sneak past them, I might as well try. And it's red, meaning I need two lockpicks. Okay. That was way too close. That's right, you can give him a weapon. Okay. Okay, I'm not about to be all that again. Mm, I can give him a weapon. Secured. And I'm not about to go anywhere else for a little while. Okay, let's see anything good. Oh, that bad I'm out to find a dang key. Okay, well, any. Hmm. Okay. Plant status. Okay. Oh, wait. Warning. Structural damage detected. Please notify your designated supervisor. Comes down to power. Well, great. Now I have to go all the way to the other side. Okay. Three switches. Here we go. That'll be easy enough. Yeah. Sort of. Not with all the enemies, though. Yeah. Sure. Easy. Okay. Okay. It's impressive. <laughs> Thanks. I guess. Okay. Let's see. Enter passcode. Passcode. Spacer tub. Thompson. Accepted. Welcome, R. Thompson. Shatter Higgins again. The whole head found him fiddling around with one of the mechanicals, so I had to write him up for tampering with company property. Yada yada yada. He's always been a little crooked in the skull. He was working on some logic module. I confiscated it. Should be in my lockaway room. For foreseeable future.
Oh, wait. Well. Maybe I can reprogram these damn robots. Do my bidding instead. Wait, can I just... Okay, here we go. Okay. Yeah, simple my ass. Gotta be that back up here. Okay, here we go. Oh, come on, Chester's passcode. Maybe I could get that. Shut them all down. Wait, that door. I've already been through that door. Maybe I can sneak from past them to the terminal, but. How? Wait, wait, I think I know how to get past some of it. Okay, if I go down here. Okay, once they both can go that way, maybe then I can... Okay, mechanical. Okay, it's walking away. Okay, let's go. No way, Phantom. Really, Higgins? I'm not no damn Phantom. Okay. No, 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 just leave me alone. Probably about to be like, yeah, knew it. <laughs> I like how I could take from him. You're not real. You're not real. Get away from me, Phantom. Shoot, scram. <laughs> Sneak 25. I wasn't trying to startle you. Most people don't see me coming. Most people? But I'm the only one left. No. Remember your first rule, Higgins. 
No arguing with the phantoms. See? See, Higgins? This is why you must always boil your sprats before ingesting. Mm. Shut up. And tell me what's going on. Clearly, I mistook you for one of the phantoms of my imagination, which terrorized me on occasion. Chester D. Higgins. The D stands for definitely not okay. insane. I use yeah. it as a reminder. Really? Dang. I'll just be on my way. <laughs> nah. What was it? What, what is it you do here? Oh, Higgins has been many things over the years. Sprat Wrangler, Saltuna Critic, Aether Wave Personality, Chairman of the Board, Galactic Defender, Sisty Pig Tycoon. Really? I've come a long way for someone who started off as a simple engineer right here in this plant. Because your mind. I specialized in auto mechanicals, drones, sentries, repaired them, maintained, upgraded, did it all from my old workroom just over in the next section. Okay. If you worked on these bags, you must know a way to stop them. Look, I don't want to fall into any trouble with the mechanicals. If they wise okay. up to our plans, they will come for us with prodding really? irons. I can deal with the mechanics. I made I made it this far, didn't I? Or Or you can help me and I won't feed you the scraps your call. You know, you remind me of myself back when I was an intergalactic adventurer. I discovered a flaw. Their hostility levels were hardwired to maximum. There's no changing that, but you could rewrite their targeting protocol so they attack each other instead. Mm hmm Engineering 5. Mechanicals follow the behavior of their logic module. Someone tampered with it. Yes, that's exactly it. I see you're also versed in the noble art of mechanical engineering. There's a behavior control terminal in the other room. It should have options to change how the mechanicals act, including whom they shoot at. Oh, now that reminds me. You'll need my passcode to access the behavior control terminal. Here, let me just write it down for you. I want to ask you something. The tail. No. Forgot what Never you were going to say? Me too. No. I don't want to talk to you unless I have to. Oh, that's because it's backwards, Dane. Here we go. Now to go back up all the way. Okay, now to go all the way back. Come on, start moving. Okay, come on. Just lose me. Sure, on my way.
Okay, modify. Okay. Okay, I'll do it like this this time. There we go. Do it perks now. Um, let's see. Yeah, sure. Okay. There we go. Okay. Unexpected. Investigating. They're shooting at each other. Resetting threat level. Okay, now maybe I could kill that thing. There we go. Wait. No, that really helped. There's two more. What'll happen okay. to Miss McDevitt's mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. if we send power to the veil? Okay, now where's the second one? Wait. Oh, let's see. Okay, now I'm gonna go down the stairs. Okay. Now to save. Mind the steam. You're liable to get scalded. Let's go. Oh wait, my I like my companion. There's something. Okay. Let's see. Done now. Exiting security enforcement mode. System.
I'm gonna try a surprise attack. Unexpected. <laughs> okay, let's go. That was way more simpler. If we send the power to Miss McDevitt, what happens to the veil? Oh. No. -oh. Okay, let's go. It was pretty sure. There's nothing we need to use. Once we do this, there's no going... Hey, mister? Look, I know you want your power regulator and all, but... I just gotta ask you. Do you understand what you're about to do? Um, I wouldn't mind your opinion. I don't think you should cut off Edgewater's power. I think it would be cruel. I I'm sorry. That just sort of came out all at once. Edgewater's hurting. We've been losing workers year after year, and corporate hardly ever sends replacements. There's barely enough salt tuna to fill our bellies anymore. But the town's got some good people in it. Decent, hard-working folk just living their lives the only way they know how. They don't deserve to be punished. To your point, I think I'm ready to make my decision. Sorry, I didn't mean to grab around like that. I just... I felt like I had to say something. Glad you did. Really? I mean, wow. Thanks. I, no one's ever told me those words in that order. Use terminal. Redirect power. Oh, dang, it's irreversible. To Edwater, I guess. Now I get out of here. To get the hell out of here. Hearing those robot things.
Okay, here we go. Time to get to where we need to go. 130. Whatever. Okay, here we go. But I lot of thought they just died out. Okay, here we go. Oh, that's Thomas. He used to follow me around before he left the cannery. Mm. Okay. Good. That's the thing about okay. growing old. Your eyes start to fail. Elsewise, I would have seen you for the snake that you are. Chopped you into pieces and roasted you on a spit. This is all you're doing. Cutting off my power, killing off my garden. Without refrigeration, my food will spoil, and my flock will starve. I want to ask you this in private, away from the eyes of my flock, so they do not see me lose my temper. Tell me, why did you do it? We need his people back. You want my flock wasting their lives in that cannery? Fine. Go and talk to them. Go talk to Grace and Thomas. Look them in the eye and tell them their life here is over, and the only thing left to do is go back to Edgewater. This is now your responsibility. And you tell Reed Thompson that I will never return to Edgewater. I would rather die among my flowers than live under his management. I'm willing to deal with Reed for you. You offering to cross Reed off, huh? This some sort of twisted reparation for what you've done? Or are you just looking for a chance to sow some chaos? Kill Reed if you must, or talk him into leaving if you can. He and I are not sharing the same four walls together. Okay. Reed isn't going to just leave his post. I need some help convincing him. Tell Reed that I can make his people healthy again. I can end their plague. Start a new garden right in the cannery. Three square meals for every man and woman in Edgewater. Tell them how I've made the veil bloom again. The soil has whispered its secrets to me, mm -hmm. and I alone know how to breathe life back into the earth. The secret is human corpses. I've been grinding them up in my fertilizer for years. Marauder, worker, don't matter much to me. The human body is rich with nutrients. You think that'll convince me to step down? I have got a means to cure the plague. And I will not share that cure until Reed leaves town. Those are my terms. What happens to you, Adelaide, or all this anger had to come from somewhere? My son worked in that cannery. When the plague started coming, he was one of the first to fall sick. We had a store of medicine locked away, but Reed refused to treat him. Said my boy didn't deserve treatment. Said the medicine would have been wasted on him. So I buried my boy in the cemetery, Get in here. gathered my belongings, and left. That's as much of the story as you need to hear. Enough talk.
but he keeps staring at me. It's not my fault the power's dead. Whoa, Miss Parvati. Hey, you're, uh, what, um, how, how are you? Hi, 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 uh, hello. Are you, uh, uh, are things safe out here? How are you keeping? Great, just great. I've been trying to keep stuff running, just like you. Only I'm not so... Wait, they didn't kick you out, did they? Oh, gosh, no, I I'm just along with this fella here. I've seen you wandering around here. You don't look like you're coming from town. I'm passing through. Sorry, I just wasn't sure if you were from town or if you were one of us. Something's been chewing at me, you see. Fact is, I've been, well, lying to everybody here. Camp thinks I'm a mechanical genius, but I couldn't fix a busted chair. Engineer, engineering time. Never too late to start learning. I could give you a couple pointers. I'll take all the help I can get. I set my mind to learning the craft of the engineer, you see. I want to make something of myself. You ever heard of the Young Spacer's Guide to Mechanical Engineering? Comes in a set of three. If I had my hands on one of those data pads, I could teach myself the ins and outs. Those are good. My dad kept a copy with him when he was working in the cannery. I know the old community center kept a copy. Should find another one back in town. If you could find me even one of those pads, I'd be greatly obliged. I'll let you know if I find anything. Or I expect a fair price for my trouble. I'll pay you for every pad you bring me. If, by some miracle, you can bring me the full set, I'll give you something pretty I've been saving for a lucky day. Okay. I'll let you know if I find anything. Would you? I'd be grateful. You won't survive without power. It's time to go back to Edgewater. I've been thinking about going back. I'm not much used to anybody here. I get sick thinking about working at the cannery. I can't do that again. I mentioned those manuals on mechanical engineering. Suppose if I had one of those, I could go back to read and make a real case for myself. Okay. So, I already have it for my ship. I know, I'm trying to think. My right. There's nothing left for here. It's time to go back the to Edgewater. The matter's been weighing on me. I'm staying put until I know what's become of Zoe. Don't want that question haunting me all the way back to the cannery. Really? Okay. Fine. Don't see why Thomas can't just get the generator up and running. Something I can help you with? I'm told one of your numbers gone missing. You mean Zoe? Yeah, we were pretty close. Not like her to go loping off. Uh, what happened today? Zoe and I were gonna watch the serials, as is our custom. She never turned up. I looked around, but she was nowhere to be found. You sound like some type of corporate fixer asking all these questions. Can't say I recall Zoe ever acting strange. Well, except for her habit of writing things down on scraps of paper. She called it journaling, but I think it's just plain odd. Thing. Uh, hold on there with something hey, else. Hey, I got time. Nothing. With the power gone, we've got to conserve our supplies. Okay, dang. <clears throat> Fine.
Okay. Okay. Fancy duds. Do the tubes get in your way? I'll help if I can. Okay. Zoe was always obsessed with this cereal. Masked marketeer. A scion of Byzantium turns to banditry and teaches his marauder companions the wisdom of free market economics. Shame she up and vanished when she did. I had a surprise lined up for her. Dang. The other day I got my hands on a genuine copy of the latest Masked Marketeer. I was gonna surprise Zoe with it, but she was gone the next day. Okay. Dang. Okay, uh... Bed. That was a quest, wasn't it? Okay, find Joey. Or Zoe, I mean. <laughs> okay. Okay, let's go. I swear, if it's somewhere I need to go into, I swear. Okay, one hour and thirteen minutes. I'm gonna find you! Look out! Easy, sure. Okay. After this, I'll just end the streaming for today. I'm trying to get at least three hours in. Super annoying. Are you kidding me? Do I have to go? I have to run all the way back there. Also kill everything all over again. Okay, you know what?
You know, I'm gonna try to go around this because I'm not about to go fight them all over again. There's no way to go around that. Not around big creatures. Wait, maybe I can go over here. Like on the edge of the rocks. Okay, there we go. I don't know whether to stop it here or just keep going until I get this done. Forget I'll keep going. But I have to have something better. Look, maybe I can use that. Uh, let's see. No way. I got something else. A shock cannon. Time to try this shot cannon out. This is super annoying. Maybe I just draw them abroad a corner.
Okay, now how to save it. Because I want to make sure that we live. After killing all of these. So if it's on the road... Really? Yeah, duh. There we go. Wow, you crossed them all off, like some sort of heroic accountant running down a list. Teach me your ways. What? You mean Adelaide's little congregation of nature-loving nobodies? I could not possibly be less interested in them. You, on the other hand, you were a sight to behold. If I had half your skills, I'd be the greatest outlaw the coast has ever seen. I've been since find you. Why? Adelaide wants me back on garden duty or something? Thanks, but I'm not going anywhere. This is where I belong. Really? Okay. I'm great at clarifying. Uh, no. I insinuated myself into their company, see? And they didn't seem to mind one whit. I've bartered them a few boxes of Adrena time, but oh, yeah, I'm sure that's got nothing to do with it. I don't know. The vital processes that constitute the miracle of life are mysterious and unknowable. Oh, you mean around these guys? The marauders wouldn't hurt me. They love me. I'm practically their queen. Yeah, it must be my natural charisma. I got kicked out of Edgewater on account of falling sick with plague and stealing some medicine to treat myself. I'd heard some outlaws set up camp in the botanical labs. I decided to throw in with them, seeing as I always wanted to be an outlaw myself. Instead, what do I find but a bunch of former workers camped out around a greenhouse. I couldn't just go back to the cannery, so I was stuck with them. Why the heck you why can't you just come with me? I've got all the time in Halcyon. <clears throat> I doubt that. Nobody in that camp really cared about me. Okay. Yeah, I suppose you're right. Also, you could carry on a conversation. Unlike these hooligans. I'll take my stuff and head on back, I suppose. Grace is going to be glaring knives at me. So I've got that to look forward to. Yeah. Okay. Okay, now to fast travel. Okay, there we go. Now we're getting there. Okay, here we go. I'm not in the lightest of humors right now. We didn't always get along, but I'm glad to know she's safe. What happened, mm. anyway? 
Zoe joined up with a band of marauders. Zoe. The same Zoe who doesn't know a barrel from a trigger. Well, I've heard stranger things. You pretty much did my job for me. Least I could do is pay you for your trouble. Let me know okay. if I can do something for you. There we go. The matter's been weighing on me. Zoe came back. But I couldn't keep her from slipping out in the first place. Who's to say I could keep marauders from slipping in? I don't see us lasting more than a couple of weeks out here. I'm loath to admit it. We're gonna have to make our peace with Thompson and hope he takes us back. Listen, we go back to Reed, okay. hat in hand, begging for our old jobs back. Well, Adelaide's not gonna forgive us. She never talked to us again. Edgewater's not just a town to Adelaide. It's a symbol of everything that's wrong with this colony. A big, okay. heartless machine of metal and gears grinding workers down to dust. We're the closest oh. thing Adelaide's got to a family. We go back to Edgewater, she's gonna feel betrayed. You better be sure about this. We go back to Edgewater without Adelaide, she's never coming back. Yeah, yeah, you're right. And I suspect Reed's learned his lesson by now. Might even be willing to talk terms with us. Hey, Thomas, gather up your personals and we'll go talk to Reed together. This is all happening so fast. Give me a little time to give this place a proper goodbye, yeah? If you find any more of those manuals, I'll be in Edgewater. If you see Reed, let him know we're coming back. There we go. Um. I gotta do all of my quests. There we go. And... Saltuna for a year. Uh, and on. Okay, freak that. Right there. This is a fine day, friend. Power flows through our town like a cool stream of water. I trust Adelaide's people have seen their way to reason. So, when can I expect them back at their posts? That's good enough for me. Adelaide and I have a history. It was unlikely she'd ever come back. But hope springs eternal. We are in your debt. 
I am authorizing you for a discount on all official Spacer's Choice products, courtesy of the people of Edgewater. Okay. By all means. This whole fiasco is not one I am keen on repeating. I was too hard on my own workers. I pushed them to their breaking point. With more hands at the cannery, I expect productivity will rise. I expect we'll grow. And I expect I can ask corporate to send us some more medicine. We'll survive, one way or another. Okay. I do. Grace Romero, wasn't it? Brusque, truculent, never seemed to care much for cannery work. Protecting a camp from marauders is no small task. I'll see to fitting her out in a guard's uniform. Travel back to landing site. Okay, here we go. <laughs> is this your ship? Oh my star, she is just so handsome. Does she have a name yet? What's her drive model? Oh, gosh. <laughs> Listen to me babbling. When I was in Edgewater, I dreamed of flying on a real ship. Working on a real engine. Belonging to a proper crew. I'm the only decent mechanic Edgewater's got, but... Every time I think of going back, I get this sinking feeling. Oh, well, it's kind of you to say that. And you're right. I wasn't happy. I want to ask you something, and you can say no. But can I come with you? I could tend to your engine, I know my G-valves for my catalyzers, and I can keep your ship singing. And if you ever need a pair of eyes watching your back, I can do that too. What do you think? Yes! I mean, thanks. You won't regret this, mister. Captain? I can call you Captain now. Ha! <laughs> I got a captain. Okay, I'm going to go back in. <clears throat> or go into the ship. Okay, here we go. Captain, what can I do for you, Captain? Do you know how to install a power regulator? Outstanding, Captain. Your aptitude for engineering will prove invaluable in the event of another catastrophic engine failure. Our engine room is located behind you, across the cargo bay, up the ladders. Well, apparently every time you tap A, it... 
Okay, here we go. Here we go. What can I do for you, Captain? All systems are operating within acceptable parameters. I am prepared to bring the unreliable into low altitude orbit. This should prove an adequate test of our flight capabilities. Okay. Here we go. We have received a communication request from Dr. Phineas Wells. Ah, there you are. Hale and hearty and captain of your own ship. I see you're putting the unreliable to good use. Shame about her former captain. Horrible way to die. How are you feeling, by the way? I lost track of you in that cave back there. Experiencing any, uh, unnatural drippage? Perfectly normal side effect of thawing, I assure you. What you saw in Emerald Vale is happening all across the colony. Food shortages, lack of supplies, and basic necessities. We're dying. The chairman, the minister, and all their lackeys on the board are to blame. The Hope has some of the brightest minds Earth ever sent us. If we can revive the Hope's colonists, they can help us undo the board's mistakes. They can help us set things right. You need to get to Stellar Bay on Monarch. I have contacts there. They'll help me, uh, help us, find the chemicals to revive your fellow colonists. Gladys Kelly, lovely woman, runs a cozy little black marketing outfit on the Groundbreaker. She can get you a nav key to land on Stellar Bay. Fine. I'll have a word with... Gladys. Excellent. I'll send her a wireless. Let her know you're coming. By the way, I gave Captain Hawthorne a disguise apparatus of my own design. Cutting-edge technology, years ahead of its time. I call it the Holographic Shroud. I'm sure it will prove remarkably useful to you. You'll find it in the Captain's quarters. I'll put it to good use. Excellent. Thanks. I'll contact you once you've found a way to get to Stellar Bay. If you have any questions, come see me in my lab. And remember... Don't trust the board. They'll try to win you over with promises okay. of wealth and power, but it's a lie. The board's only interested in filling their own pockets. If we don't put a stop to them, they're going to run this colony to the ground. Transmission ended. If you are ready to depart, please select a destination on your navigation terminal. There we go. Well, that's it for today. Hope you liked it. <sighs> I enjoyed it a lot. You like and subscribe oh, wait. yeah now i hope you like and subscribe see you next time